Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, welcome to my channel. This is, I'm Cass and I am the owner and creator here at Youthful Neck Tresovery. Uh, today we're going to be making a goat milk lotion because I'm putting together some boxes that have been ordered. Um, they're my Hocus Pocus boxes and they turned out so cute and I'll show you the boxes whenever I'm done. But today I have to make some I smell children goat milk lotion to go into these boxes. But we also have in here, we have a Goodbye Cool World um, Black Sugar Magical Bath Bomb that goes inside this box. So in here in this box, we have our, our bath bomb. It's a pretty big bath bomb. It's a 4.5 ounce bath bomb. Um, and it does have some embeds in it so that when it starts to melt, it's going to shoot out some um, magical colors. So we have that that goes inside this box. And then we have a black flame candle. So here's our black flame candle and it's got some holographic uh, glitter on the top and um, smells like wood cabin. And I'll go into where I got my fragrances from. I will tell you that one came from New York Scent. Uh, and I'm going to do an uh, unboxing I, because I received an order late yesterday afternoon for some of the um, fragrance oils from there. So anyway, in this box we have a I Smell Children um, Goat Milk Lotion, our bath bomb, and our Black Flame Candle. And we also have some sea salt soap and it's scented in violet sugar. And so here's the soap that comes in the box. It's got a little witch hat on the top that I piped on. And so this is a sea salt bar, smells wonderful. So these four items, the soap, the bath bomb, the candle and the lotion all go in this box. But anyway, we're gonna get to making um, the lotion and I'm gonna bring you along for that. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm hoping that you can see um, pretty well and um, as we go through this, I'm just moving my materials for the box making. So in this bowl here, I have melted down um, my shea butter and my um, e-wax and stearic acid. And uh, I'm gonna write the, the uh, recipe down I think in the description box below and share this one with you and you can make this your own by adding I'll give you this basic recipe and then you can add other things to it to make it your your very own recipe so in here are melted oils and uh, butters and in this container I have my um, <clears throat> goat milk and it is warm it's been warmed to be able to go in here and this is my preservative and what I'm gonna do is mix this all up and um, I should pause you I'm gonna mix all of this up and then we're gonna add our fragrance oil and I'll get that in a few minutes but anyway the um, I smell children lotion is actually a pink sugar type uh, lotion so that's what it's going to be scented in is in pink sugar I tried to do like a sugar sugary theme all except for when it came to the candle and the candle is a wooden cabin like it really smells like earthy outdoorsy and spices all in one thing so that it kind of brings home that wooden cabin uh, thing so I'm gonna go ahead since these are melted and this is warm, I'm gonna combine these two together to make the um, lotion. And if you want to, uh, I'll tell you the single batch. That Mine is a double batch, but I'm gonna tell you really quickly what the recipe is. And then I'm gonna try to put it down below. So I have 36 ounces of warmed goat's milk. I have also 1.70 ounces of olive oil, 1.2 ounces of shea butter, 1.2 ounces of e-wax, 1 ounce of steric acid, 1 ounce of sweet almond oil, 
and that's all of the oils and butters that are in here. I do add some one extra thing to mine, but I'm not going to share that with you. That's my secret ingredient. I will tell you that it's an oil, and you can add anything else, uh, like in an ounce portion to it, um, to get your desired um, feel for your lotion. <laughs> And to this, I am going to add point, well, I'm going to have, add a half an ounce of uh, my preservative. So you just have to figure out what preservative you're going to use and it needs to be a, a broad spectrum because of the goat milk and i will tell you my goat milk is not um I, i'm using powdered goat's milk that i've reconstituted in my water and the reason i do that is because it's been dehydrated so it has sort of a preservative preservative in it already um and then of course i'm going to be adding my own preservative so it does take a little while for this to thicken so i'm gonna let this cool down and let it start to thicken because it needs to be at a certain temperature for our preservative and right now it's at like 106 so i really want to get it below 100 to add my preservative so i'll bring you back in just a few okay we are back and this has gotten considerably cooled down. I have removed some because I had a customer ordered some, a small bottle of unscented and then another customer ordered a large bottle of an Egyptian musk. But this batch I really needed for some pink sugar. So I'm gonna scent the rest of this in the pink sugar so that I can go ahead and pour it. And I like for the pink sugar to be lightly pink. And this is a um, liquid um, soap and lotion colorant that I got from the chemistry store which is not far from here so it can be ordered and picked up on the same day so that's pretty handy and I just want it to be lightly pink so I'll just go ahead and get that mixed in and it's easier to get this into the bottles if it's still warm and pourable. If not, like if I make a big master batch of um, lotion just to con put in a container and um, use that to take custom orders. I do that a lot of the time, most of the time. And... Uh, so I don't pre-color or scent it. But this one, because it has a, I have a project in mind, I will go ahead and do that. Um, so we have it lightly pink. Let me put these back up, or this color back up. And we're gonna go ahead and add in the pink sugar fragrance oil that I pre-weighed out, pre-measured, and get that stirred in and combined really well and I got my pink sugar from New York scent I'm really in love with New York scent um, they don't disappoint I've been pleased with everything I've gotten and that was an ounce of fragrance oil and that's really uh, this is a heavily scented one it smells great and here is our um, preservative I remember that was a half ounce of preservative I don't work a lot in grams sometimes I do but it's not my preferred method okay 
So let me get a container while this is still pourable. The only thing about making lotion is that it is a messy job. And so these are my little four ounce petite bottles. And because of the pump that's going down in there, you cannot fill to the top. So close to the top, let me weigh it. And that weighs 4.50 ounces. And that might be a little much. So I'm gonna just weigh out four ounces. Actually, we'll just go with the 445. So 4.45 ounces in the bottle. Well, that's with the measurement of the bottle because you have to have room for that little part of the pump to go in there. Now you don't wanna put the tops on these until they cool down so that they don't um, any condensation inside the bottle. You don't want that. So this bottle is determined to weigh more than I want it to. We're back and they're all labeled. Here's our our, our. Hmm. Okay, we're back and the rest of these are labeled and this is our I smell children lotion, our goat milk lotion, scented in pink sugar. And these are the last of these boxes and I'm gonna put one together and show you. Um, but these were part of a pre-order and um these were the last five that I have to go out. I have, my goal was to get them all out by before September the 21st so that everybody has theirs when the new Hocus Pocus movie launches. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to go get some of the boxes and um, show you how we put these together. Okay, let's put these cute boxes together. So I just have, I went to Walmart and got these because they weren't really a bad price for three boxes. So that's what I have. And they come with these little separator boxes if you want to use those, but I don't think we're gonna be using them. But we have our um, Black Sugar Magical Bath Bomb, Goodbye Cruel World, because once you use this bath bomb, it will make your world feel like it's disappeared. I will show you one out of the box. If I can reach them. They are in shrink wrap inside the box. But this is what they look like. They're four and a half ounces. And the drizzle across the top and the purple sort of looks like a spider web, which was what I was trying to go for. So over here, I also have, um, I did emboss the top of the label. And I have some of these little spiders. And I'm going to put a spider on top of there if my glue gun is hot enough to um, let us have a bit of glue. And I'm not sure if it's quite ready. I'm going to let that heat up a little bit more, but we are going to put a spider there. So just, um, I can go ahead and put it in. So we'll put our bath bomb there. And then we have our black flame candle. I think I showed you these earlier. 
that will be in here. And then we have our I Smell Children hand lotion. Let's see, that might be better like that. Then we have to get our soap in here. And I want to protect the soap. I think before I did it like this. The only thing I had to worry about before when I was trying out the boxes was not to mess up the witch hat. See that? That is a cold process soap, but it can still um, be bent a little bit. So let's see. How about if we do it like that? Um, how do I want to do that? The fun of real time making something together. top of the candle. Let's see if we did it like no matter where I put that hat. Okay, let's see. That would work if it's on top of the candle. But then we have to try to get this lotion in here. Why does everything have to be so difficult? Oh, that work right there. We're not going to worry about this dead space because we're going to put in our crinkle paper. We're even going to put a little around the soap. There we go. I need a place to glue that spider because we want it to be really super cute when they get it. a little bit more um, of our raffia for our lotion there. And super cute. And our, our witch hat on our soap is safe. And you can still see a little bit in the box. be taping our box shut. So let me get the, the tape. And I'm just going to use regular scotch tape for that, not our packing tape. Oh, I did forget one thing I wanted to show you I'm going to do. So this glitter that's on the top of the soap and on top of the candle, we're just going to sprinkle just a little in our box just to give it a little bit extra sparkle. Now we'll tape our box closed. Okay. Now we have all the elements for the outside of our box that need to go on. So this is our it's all just a bunch of Hocus Pocus, and that's what we have here, and that's going to go across our box. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like it on this corner. I'm not sure what's going on with this corner of this box, so I'll probably end up just taping that um, Closed there, maybe that'll keep it from go ahead and get all the taping done. Okay. Now 
are just, it's all just a bunch of hocus pocus. We want that to go right across here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort of score our label like that so that I know to line those pieces up. And I can't peel it. So did you do anything special in with your products for the holiday? I don't do a lot for Halloween. Um, I just decided this was really cute. And as a pre-order, I thought um, I could, didn't have anything to lose, really, if I was going to do a pre-order. Because um, I would know how many of something I had to have. Okay, so we have that on. That's there. Now we have our little sticker here that says, I put a spell on you. And we're going to put that down in this corner. I am going to snip the corner like that so it kind of lines up there. Maybe a little bit more. Get that on there. And I am Youthful Nectar Bath and Body, so I want that on there somewhere. I think I'll just put that in that little top corner. It's a little discreet because it's tiny, but okay, there's that. And we can also do a spider here or somewhere. Let's see. Where do I think that's going to be cute? What do you think? That one's there. And you can see it pretty well. Maybe there. I think there. And there's our little gift box, and I think it's super cute. So, this is just to encourage you to take your products to the next level. Just think of something that you can do that's a little bit different. I sold my boxes for $40 on a pre-sale, um, pre-order kind of thing. So, um, just tried to get you inspired today for what you can do. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye for now.